Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Super Sister Fitness and today I'm going to guide you through a quick yoga flow and we're really going to concentrate on the hips and the hamstrings. So we're gonna, I'm going to teach you today how to work into the splits. If you ever wanted to do the splits, today is the day. It takes time and practice. You're not maybe not going to get there in one day, but I honestly believe within a few months, depending on how tight you are right now, you can get there and you can do the full split. So today's flow is all about that and I'm actually live streaming this on Periscope right now. If you don't follow us already, check it out and follow us at Super Sister Fit on Periscope. So live streaming this, you didn't get the video first YouTube, just saying Periscope's got it right now. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's just go right ahead into downward facing dog. Woo, oh, it feels so good. So lifting the kneecaps, pressing your thighs back. So here, notice my legs aren't all like loosey goosey. I'm pressing the legs back, lifting the quadriceps, flexing, and really engaging the quads to lift the kneecaps, opening up the back of the legs. And then at the same time, you're rotating your armpits in toward one another, wrapping your triceps down towards your mat open up the shoulders and just take a few breaths here into this downward facing dog i am so happy you are here with me today because honestly yoga and flexibility and stretching is something most people overlook and it will make you feel so much better it's changed my life and i really hope that you stick with this liz and i are going to be doing this a whole lot more so Keep with it, keep going, even when you feel discouraged. I was once there too, just push past it. I'm here for you. So let's get started from there. Bend your knees, look to the front of your mat and step up. Inhale to lift halfway, exhale and fold. And here we're gonna spend a little time. So you can bend one leg at a time. Just let your head relax down. Again, we're gonna open up the back of the legs a little bit here. But even here, you're lifting the quadriceps. So notice here, look, this is loose, this is lifting. It's a big difference and it protects your hamstring. A lot of people tear their hamstring. I've done it quite a few times. I am not immune to that either. So you really wanna make sure you flex the quadriceps that allows the hamstring to relax, but relaxing it and stretching it safely. Maybe even grabbing opposite elbows here, a little rock side to side. And I'll just say this now, my last yoga video, somebody asked, where are your clothes from? Oh, they're so cute. So it's Aloe Yoga. We love them. They're great. And their clothes kind of just suck it all in and make you look real good. <laughs> so <laughs> check them out if you're interested. They're a Southern California company, so we really like that. Okay, really working in this first forward fold. From there, inhale, lift, halfway. Nice flat back, maybe your hands are on the, your shins or even up on your thighs, really rolling the shoulders back and down, shoulder blades together. Good, and then inhale, coming all the way up, palms touch, and then exhale, hands into heart, Tadasana, mountain pose. Okay, from there we're gonna move into Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, the arms up, look up. Exhale and fold all the way in. Inhale, lift, halfway, chest moves forward. Planting your hands flat on your mat. Step back to plank, holding here. So nice, strong plank. Shoulders stacked right over the wrists. And notice here, I'm really pressing the floor away from you. Me, not you. You are pressing the floor away from you. So you're not sinking into the shoulders and you're not like this, and you're not like this. Nice straight line of energy, tailbone tucked in, low abs engaged. Good, from there, gently lowering down, knees, chin and chest, hug your elbows close to the sides, and then inhale through to cobra, roll the shoulders back and down, oh my gosh, I just got like five back cracks, and then from there, exhale back, downward facing dog, that's the cool thing about a yoga, you're not going to need your chiropractor anymore, you can just crack your own back, <laughs> just kidding you guys. Don't take my advice. Who am I? Just kidding. Also about that. <laughs> Again, this is happy hour yoga. It's supposed to be fun. Bend the knees. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Who says yoga has to be boring or so serious? Exhale the hands into heart. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale up. Look up. Exhale. Big swan dive forward. 
Inhale, lift halfway. Plant your hands. Step back with the opposite foot. Plank. Nice strong plank. Butt's not up here. Butt's not down here. Tuck it in. Press the floor away. Then gently lower down. Knees. Chin and chest. Ashtanga Namaskar. And then inhale through Cobra. Roll the shoulders back and down. Lift your chest up. So maybe you're only here. That's okay. From there, I'm breathing already, are you? Press back. Down dog. Ooh. Yeah, that feels good. Let your head relax. Again, lift the quadriceps, lifting the kneecaps, pressing the thighs back. And you know what? Maybe your knees are bent. I was there too. My feet didn't just start out on the ground. It takes time and practice. So keep going. Inhalation, exhalation through the nose. And then from there, bend the knees. Look to the front of your mat. Stepping up. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale and fold all the way in. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Palms touch, head back. Exhale, your hands into heart. One last time. Inhale up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to lift halfway. Plant your hands back to plank. Just for a breath or two. Who's with me here? Let's do this. Gently lower down, knees, chin and chest, same thing. Inhale through, cobra. Exhale back, down dog. Whew, yeah. That feels good. Who's <laughs> with me? All right. <sighs> okay, from there, step the feet together. We're gonna lead with the left. So left leg reaches up. Really reach that left leg up, but try to keep the left hip down so it's not this. Keep the left hip down, really open it up here, and then we'll bend the knee. You can stack the hips. Open up that left hip flexor. Good, and then from there, coming back down. Other side, inhale the right leg up. <sighs> Feels so good, again, keep that right hip down just to start. And breathe here. Again, left leg is nice and strong. And then you can bend the knee, open up the hips. Good, and then exhale the right leg back down. From there, bend the knees. Coming back to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale and fold. Good, inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Palms touch, head back. Exhale your hands into heart. Okay, moving into Syrian Namaskar B. You should be warm, should be breathing, hopefully. Maybe you got a towel nearby or water, take a quick sip, then let's hit it. Inhale the arms up, look up. Good, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, halfway. Plant your hands, step back. From there, we're gonna either, you can stick with knees, chin and chest, as we've been doing, or if you like, you can do chaturanga, shifting forward, bending at the elbows. Then inhale to up dog. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Okay, since we're working into the hips on this one, again, step the feet together. Inhale the left leg to the sky. And then you're going to shift all the way forward, bringing your left foot in between your hands, high up onto the right toes. And stay here for a few breaths. Low crescent lunge. Left, or excuse me, right leg is nice and strong. Again, this knee isn't bent down toward the ground. Lifting up, quadricep flexed. And notice also I'm high on the toes, so I'm not way back here. Come high to the toes. And I'm leading with the chest. Chest is moving forward, I'm not down like this. So coming high onto the fingertips. And then from there, you can gently drop the right knee down, untuck the toes, and we'll work into the right hip flexor here. So really important to not have a really bad low back arch here. So tucking the tailbone under and then starting to shift your weight forward. Again, really breathing here into the right side, maybe even reaching the arms up. Relax your shoulders down again, really breathe into that right hip flexor. And then from there, you can inhale both arms into the left foot. And we're going to work a little bit deeper into the hips here. So maybe even right walking the right knee back. And then maybe 
even working here down onto the forearms. Breathe into your hips. Another one of my favorites. So we've got a visitor. Oh, she's, geez, gone and gone. Didn't even want to say hi. <laughs> so you can stay here. This is perfectly A-OK. -okay. Or if you want, this is a, one of my favorite moves. You can turn the right hand facing outside of your mat 90 degrees and then roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. And notice here I'm really flexing the left toes back, opening up this left hip and maybe reach back to grab for the right ankle. Even here rolling the shoulders back and down, maybe starting to look up. Big inhale and then planting both hands back down to the ground. Left hand moves outside of the left foot and then stepping straight to plank if you want. You can move through a vinyasa here or you could always go straight to down dog. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. So from there, step the feet together, inhale the left leg up, or sorry, the right leg up. And then shifting all the way forward, high onto the left toes, low crescent lunge. So just starting here, left leg's nice and strong, also making sure here your knee is stacked right over the ankle and your chest is moving forward. Take a few breaths here. And then gently placing the left knee down, untucking the toes, inhale the arms all the way up. Really, again, opening up this left hip flexor, relax your shoulders down away from your ears and breathe. Hey, Bam. Hi, can I have a hug? Oh, thank you. Hugs and kisses, thank you. Oh, nice down dog. From there, exhale both hands inside your right foot. And then again, maybe walking that left knee back just a little bit, working deeper into the hips here. So even here, notice how I'm upright. I'm not sinking down in toward the ground. And then if you want option to work onto the forearms, And again, the other option is to turn the left hand 90 degrees, rolling onto the outer edge of the right foot, right feet, toes, flex back towards your face, reaching to grab the left ankle. Notice here, my shoulder blades are really squeezing together, so my shoulders aren't rounded forward here. Really open the chest up. And then coming back, tucking the left toes, lifting the left leg up, moving the right hand outside of the foot. And then again, if you want high push up to low here or always the option to go straight to down dog. Good, from there, bend your knees. Look to the front of your mat. You can either step or hop all the way to the top of your mat. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale and fold. I almost lost that one. Bend your knees. Send your hips back. Chair pose. And then standing all the way up. Whew, I'm warm. How about you? Bend the knees. The hips back. Chair. Exhale, fold. All the way in. Inhale, lift halfway. Chest is forward. Plant your hands flat on your mat. Step back into, I got a dog visitor here, into plank, shifting forward, chaturanga to up dog, or knees, chin and chest, exhale back, downward facing dog, good, from there, lift the left foot up, big inhale, this time shifting forward, foot between your hands, and we're going to inhale all the way up, high crescent lunge. So again, knee stacked right over the ankle and you're not letting the low back arch. So tuck the tailbone under, working on the balance here. Core is engaged, maybe reaching the arms all the way up. And again, trying to be high on the right toes. So maybe walking the toes back a little bit. Go ahead and then exhale your hands to your mat. Back to plank, high push up to low. Inhale through your back bend. Exhale back, downward facing dog, other side. Right leg up. 
Shifting forward. Coming up. Find your balance first. High on the left toes. Inhale up. High crescent lunge again. Knee stacked right over the ankle. Not this. This. Tuck it under. Core is engaged. High onto the left toes. Relax your shoulders down. Big inhale. And then exhale the hands back to your mat. Through your vinyasa, or again, I'll show here. Often straight to down dog. From there, bend the knees. Look to the front of your mat, hop or step. Pop your mat, inhale to lift halfway. Exhale and fold. Bend the knees, sit the hips back. Chair, standing all the way up, Tadasana. One last time, bend the knees, sit your hips back. Chair, exhale, fold all the way in. Inhale, lift halfway, plant the hands. Step back, jump back, plank. High push up to low. Exhale back, downward facing dog. From there, step your feet together, inhale the left leg to the sky. And then this time we're gonna go into single pigeon. So shifting forward, trying to bring your left shin to parallel to the top of your mat. If you have really tight hips here, you can start to walk this left foot back towards the right hip. But again, eventually the goal is left foot, excuse me, left shin is parallel to the top of the mat. And notice here, my left foot is really active. So you're not just letting it hang out all loosey goosey. Trying to square the hip, so right hip moves forward. Taking a big inhale here, maybe looking up, and then exhale, fold forward. Walking the hands forward. Again, left foot is really strong here, flexing back towards your left knee, working into the outer hip and glute on the left side. So maybe you're only right here, and again, I want you to be okay with that. That's totally okay. It takes time and practice to get there. Working into the hips. Good, then walk the hands back, planting the hands, tucking the right toes, lifting up, and go straight back to downward facing dog. From there, lift the right leg all the way up, shifting forward again, single pigeon. So bringing the right knee parallel, the right chin parallel to the top of the mat. Again, right foot flexes back towards the knee, big inhale, reaching, looking up, and then exhale, fold forward. Focusing on your breath. Maybe starting to reach the arms out in front of you. And walk the hands back. Again, go straight back. Downward facing dog. From there, lift the left leg up. Shifting forward. Left foot in between the hands. This time you're gonna place your right knee down. Keep the right toes tucked and you're gonna straighten the left leg. So just like we talked about before, the quadriceps is flexed so that you can lengthen the back of the left leg and the left foot is flexed back towards your face and you're leading with your chest. So you're not like this. You're really upright, nice flat back, left foot's nice and strong here. Maybe starting to fold in as the flexibility develops. Open up that left hamstring. And if you want to start to work on full splits here, now that the hips should be nice and warm and open, hamstrings, you can start to bend the left knee and walk your right foot back. So gradually, slowly, but really important here to keep this knee bent. So as, I'm gonna shift forward a little bit here. As you walk the right foot back, making your way further and further back, you can also use blocks if you're at home. Maybe eventually you start to make the way down, your way down to the ground and that left leg starts to straighten. But I don't want you to force anything here. 
And the reason we keep the knee bent is to protect the hamstrings. So notice here, it can be a lot on the hamstrings if you have tight hamstrings. So keeping this knee a little bit bent, and once you can straighten, you flex the quadricep. Nice, strong left leg, toes flex back toward your face, or you can point them. Different philosophies. And then from there, planting the hands, making your way all the way back. Now we're facing down, we'll do that on the other side. Lift the right leg up, shifting forward. Right hand between, sorry, right foot between the hands. Gently placing the left knee down. Keep the toes tucked. And then straighten the right leg. Nice, strong quad quadricep. Maybe even coming all the way up so you can feel the hips. Hips are level. Nice, strong quadricep. Flexing the right foot back towards your face. And then again, you're hinging and leading with the chest. So it's not this. It's this. And again, maybe eventually you start to work yourself in bringing the forehead to the shin, but you're not really rounding in. Trying to keep a nice straight back. Flex the right foot back towards your face. And then again, if you wanna work on full split, bending the right knee, walking the left foot back. And here I really want you to keep a nice upright chest. So again, you can use blocks if you need them, and maybe making your way all the way to the ground. Once you get there, nice strong quadriceps. Flexing the right foot back towards your face, or maybe pointing the toe. I like flex, personally, personal preference. And notice here, I'm really upright, so I'm not leaning forward. I don't have the shoulders slumped forward. I'm rolling the shoulders back, lifting the chest up. And toes in the back can be tucked, untucked, whatever's more comfortable. And then planting the hands back to down dog. Nice work today, working on the hamstrings and the hips, bend the knees. I'm gonna turn towards you and transition to the top of your mat or maybe turn to face me and we're gonna work into Baddha Konasana. So feet together, soles of the feet together, opening up the knees if you need to. You can walk the feet more in front of you. The more open your hips are, you can start to work the feet closer into the hips. And then from there, again, rolling the shoulders back and down, maybe starting to look up. Then exhale and fold forward. Holding this stretch for as long as you like. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me, whether it was on Periscope or YouTube. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you're on Periscope, don't forget to tap it for some hearts. Follow us. <laughs> and... Stay tuned for more of this, especially on Periscope and YouTube. See you next time. Bye.